M0FXB. Let's talk about the Guiltec PMR171 Shack in the Box 20 Watt SDR transceiver that I've been testing for about three days now. And this radio has a terrible reputation. But I, I don't believe in, in just repeating, because I call uh, repeating gossip, I call them the sort of ham radio repeaters. One person says it, and then it just goes on and on. Before you know it, everyone's saying that this radio, and I've had several messages saying, save your money, it's a piece of junk, don't buy one. But I'm a believer in, okay, let's test it. Yeah, so I've been testing this on HF, works completely fine. The tuner is instant. One touch and it just tunes straight away. Of course, the antenna has to be within a cert with, within certain parameters. It's got SWR protection as well. I've also just, just tested the harmonics on, um, on VHF. Sorry, it's not the clearest image. Complete pass, clean harmonics on, on VHF. Yes, it's a small screen, but the con you know what is in that screen is excellent. Lots of information. If you zoom in on it, we can zoom in. You'll see it's a very nice looking screen, very similar, I suppose, to I'll just say the G ninety. So why you know why is everyone slating a radio that, as far as I can see, works fine? It comes with this microphone here. I'll just put this in front of the screen. It's like a Yesu microphone where you can actually completely control the radio and it's good quality. Uh, if you turn, if you remember to turn your mic gain up, the audio sounds fine. I've been using it on my All Star node. No problems at all. Um, I mean, I watch my videos for all the different functions, but if you hit the band, you'll see that, and I know it's not the clearest image, but it's going from 1.8 all the way to 430 megahertz. And yes, it does do the CB band, whether it's legal to use as a CB, um, find out in, in your country there. I had it connected on WSJTX. I just think there's a couple of tweaks to it, but it's got a proper, it's got some it, it, proper FT8 settings and there is a sound card. It's picking up the audio via the, re, the rear USB-C. And so it's, it's fully ready for using with digital modes. So, so all, all I want to say is I don't see a big problem with this radio. I've got the battery here. It's 5,000 milliamp hour battery which clips on the bottom then it all stands up vertically it's designed really to go into a backpack and a new model if you look in the background here as it scrolls through as far as i can see the new can see the new model and there's a couple here this one here has got a rj45 type microphone connector but mine's running 3.70 firmware i mean look at this menu Press and hold. <coughs> There's a model out there that does DMR. The thing about the DMR, because I paid £406 for this delivered, okay, to my door from Amazon. I'll put the link in. The thing about DMR is as soon as you go down the DMR and GPS, and even it's got APRS, it's got a broadcast radio that, that is included, the price goes up like $300. So I thought, well, I don't even, not even sure if I'm going to be pleased with it. But to me, as a choice for a transceiver and 20 watts that actually works, and uh, let's just back out of the menu. Press the PA here, you get the power. And there it is on two watts at the moment. 20 watts that actually works. You can type the frequency on the microphone, on the radio, select the band. You've got AF gain here as well. Let's just press PA, AF. You can adjust your volumes. RF selections as well, uh, and so on, so, so on, and noise reduction, DSP, A and B, split mode as well. But technically, with split mode, we could actually probably do satellite. Um, if I would say we definitely could do satellite, it was down to your antenna, really, because any, any, any radio can do satellite, really. It's more about your antenna, you know, VHF, new HF. You need VHF and new HF. So I, I just say to all the people that have messaged me, it's a piece of junk, don't buy it, don't waste your money. And there have been several. OK, give me the evidence. Give me the experience. Have you actually used the radio? Did you learn how to, to did you did you learn how to use it? Because it's actually quite a complicated radio to use when you first turn it on. Yeah. Um, luckily, the basics are there. If you hit band, 
you get banned. If you hit mode, you've got a mode button here, you can change the modes. You can type the frequency, so the basics are there. The little trick, I would say, when you're on VHF, UHF, hold down the split, and that's where you set your tone. And, and you know, take it from me, once you put in uh, the, the tone and the split, I'm on the repeater straight away. Straight away, I'm on the repeater. Comes with this quite long, I don't know, super long, can't really call it a rubber duck, call it a stick, included. Uh, so, you know, you tell me, tell me another option around £400 where you can do all this. You've got the 817818 second hand, you could probably get one, but it's not going to have a colour screen and it's not going to um, have a built in tuner. So let me know what you think. Bye for now. I'm going by my experiences. And when people say it's full of bugs, okay, what bugs? Bugs that affect what? Can you, can you use the radio on VHF, UHF, PMR, CB, HF, and have a contact without any problems? You know, you know, and it's always down to your antenna and your location. Of course, that plays into it. You've got backlit, backlit button. So tell me what's so broken about this radio. Uh, please, please tell me um, with evidence. Yeah with testing, proper testing, rather, and please, you know, please stop just spreading gossip. It's junk. Why? Why is it junk? Yeah? So uh, bye for now. Cheers.